Tonight with Pam Royal and Greg Eastfield. Hello and thanks for joining us this Wednesday evening. Dems had been forced to flee his home in the Democratic Republic of Congo after seeing his country torn apart by civil war. I've been away from my family for about five, six years. And we meet the band bringing the world together here in our region. And it's certainly a lot of fun. Drums, keyboards, guitars and a rousing brass section. The band Sosnak has become a well-known sight on the region's streets. But Sosnak is about more than good music and having fun. Some of its members are coming to terms with a traumatic past for them. Being part of the band has marked a new beginning. Helen Ford has this special report. <laughs> We've got the Middle East, we've got Flamenco, and then we've got the Celtic influence, and then of course the Latin, Calypso, and African influences. This is Sosnak. The band is based on Tyneside, but its music spans the globe. With just a few notes, the audience has taken on a musical journey. The crowd are clearly loving it, but as well as being entertaining, Sosnag has another role. It acts as a sort of musical home for people who've come to this area from all over the world. Sosnak was founded by Paul Miskin, and the band is his passion. When guitarist and singer Dems and Dume arrived in Newcastle, Paul wasted no time in recruiting him. Dems had been forced to flee his home in the Democratic Republic of Congo after seeing his country torn apart by civil war. I've been away from my family for about five, six years. It's not easy just living by yourself, far away from a country, when you know in your country the situation is not good. The cities where I grew up, most of them have been burned down. And uh, I always dream about my country, about my people, about death, about wars, about bullets, about bombs. <laughs> Every time when I play the guitar, that's where I get my inspiration from, from the situation from my country. That was a song for my country, the DR Congo. Five million of my people have just been killed, just like this, because they were Congolese. Sorry, guys. Sosnak is constantly evolving as members come and go, and the band has just released an album. When I was in my country, I had a good job. I received my salary at the end of the month. What has happened that's interesting in Newcastle in the last few years is the um, input of different cultures has gone up several notches. We've had a massive influx of people and now many, many Africans in the city and I feel the improvement. You know, not just Dempsey, he's the biggest improvement for me, obviously. Sosnak's music confronts some harsh truths, but the band is also here to entertain. Well, we like people to just sort of go wild and leap about. That's important. You know, forget yourself, have fun. Having fun and making a statement. It's often the most powerful combination. Helen Ford reporting. Okay. 